right, guys. If you thought these holidays you were going to rest and not think about Colourpop collections, you are in the wrong. There's an entire new collection coming. And this one is inspired by, I think, the butterfly migrations. I think, I think, they haven't told me, really. I'm assuming because that's what's going on. And um, the colors themselves are very mauve very full like it's not the bright shades that one would associate with regular butterflies it's more like like a wintry feel so let's just dig in into the colors there's four new super shadows super shadows super shot shadows there is two new jelly much there is a palette there is a set of lipsticks um velvet blur and there's a brand new item, which is the Pixie um, Puff Highlighter. It's like a, it looks like one of those um, that you, that comes with a puff and you apply it and it just kind of gives you like a shimmery, shimmery finish. Um, not that big bling, blingy highlight. That's more like a subtle overall um, look. Anyway, let's go into the lipsticks. There is five of them. They're going to come up on their own as well. And let's just swatch. Bloom to Bloom is a nude. This formula gives you finish like, think of a petal of a flower. That matte yet velvety um, look. It's not a dry matte, so it's interesting. Um, so there you have it. Now the next one is Oasis. This one is more of a rose shade. And I'm trying to do like, you know, several layers on this. Only so you see how this would apply if you would decide to layer it. Like as you add more layers of it, it's just going to get a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more dewy. Virgo Moon is another move rose shade it has like a brown undertone and then you have slow dance with a more of a chocolate like a mocha type of shade and it's funny because this last shade I was advertising it as a red it looked like a red last night when I was opening this stuff and turns out it's a freaking berry, you guys. I'm blind. Like, I could have sworn that this was red last night. I was talking like, oh my god, it's going to be like a red and velvet blur. That's going to look hot, blah, blah, blah. Turns out it's actually a berry shade, which is really pretty. But definitely not a red, you guys. You know? Let's, let's, give, me, let's give me brownie points for even trying to do early sneak peeks um, last night when I got this package. So this is a few pictures in different lighting. Um, you know the drill. Lighting has been sucky this week. There's just no lighting. But anyway, let's go into the Super Shocks. There's four new ones. They have special packaging. It has this little glitter um, in a purple case. There is Flying Circus, which is a dual chrome ringlet, which is a hot pink kind of orchid kind of color. And like a butterfly, which has, has a lot of flip into it, like with... um like a brown with pink shift too and the first one that I didn't actually get to name because I was talking smack was Mighty Morphin and every time I see I say the, the sentence Mighty Morphin I can't help but say Power Rangers so if by any chance I say Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when I'm doing any other things you you know what I mean anyway here is the swatches with the names here is with the ring light which I hate because there's no sun, you know how it makes my arms look super yellow, but the shades themselves are super cute. Let's go into the jelly match. There's two new ones. There's a white kind of, um, has like a goldish flip, and it's called Buttercup. Look how pretty that's a Sumi that looks actually better, kind of gives you the idea of that gold flip. And then Bouquet, which is also a dusty lavender type of shade with also gold flip. 
there's um let's do the swatches now anytime there it is okay so see how pretty that one is i love these because you can just put one on the lid and then do a quick wing or just kind of do like a lower lash liner and just your face kind of dressed up right away let's do a live swatch of the pixie puff highlighter that is one light layer you can build this up if you wanted to um i don't think that's what it's meant to be you see how i kind of layered it out once you start adding too many layers of this it's gonna look a little bit ashy so i suggest you don't let's go on to the highlight what the palette the palette is um also with the same theme of browns and mauves and um, some lavender shades and we got one glitter believe it or not most of these were only one swipe and I had to like do two swipes on the glitter and two swipes on that dark that last dark shade because it was actually because I swiped and I got only like one like half of it done um, I don't know what happened to me but honestly, it was mostly my mistake. Pigmentation-wise, I could have done the whole thing with one swipe only. And they were really on point. I really like the formula that they did here. It was, and it's neutrals, I get it. A lot of people are not into them. And you guys want colorful stuff. But you guys also got to remember, there's a lot of people that love neutrals that use these on the daily. It's easy for them. And I was, honestly, I'm going to include myself in it. Um, I do love neutrals like this. This is super cute to use and it pairs well for the previous palette that came out as well. Um, just kind of like a little grown-up full palette, if I may add. Except with that glitter. I really think that that glitter did not go there, but let's just... <laughs> like, really, you guys could have put anything else, but all right, let's just leave the glitter alone. And... Um, let's look at the whole thing. It's dropping, I think, tomorrow. I'm going to put all the dates and names and prices on the caption. Um, let me know if you get anything. Don't forget, our code is now applying to more things, like all the collabs and things like that. Take the code now. So um, thank you guys for your support, and don't forget to subscribe.